captured on camera a shadowy meeting at an Essex hotel between two key men in a global people smuggling operation. They are Irish haulage boss Ronan Hughes and the ring's European fixer Georgia Nika. The hold all Nika is carrying contains £50,000, blood money it was called at their trial. For 39 men, women and boys from Vietnam paid the ring cash they'd saved and borrowed to be illegally transported to Britain before their oxygen and their hopes expired in the back of a locked lorry container. Today, Hughes, who'd supplied the lorries and drivers, was jailed for 20 years on 39 counts of manslaughter. Georgia Nika, a Romanian citizen said to have had a managerial role, received a 27-year sentence for the same offences. The criminals in this case made their money from misery. They knew what they were doing was dangerous, but they did it anyway. There was a 13-year sentence for Morris Robinson, employed by Hughes to pick up the container and its human cargo from Perfleet Docks. He found the bodies. Are they breathing? I don't think so. They're not breathing? I don't think so, no. How many approximately? Uh, the trailer's jammed. Eamon Harrison, who'd driven the trailer from France to Belgium on an earlier leg of the fateful journey, was jailed for 18 years. In Vietnam, Teo Wan, whose husband and the father of her children died in the trailer, says the people smugglers deserved their punishment. Vô tâm, gọi là có nghĩa là biết là cái hậu quả mà cho một số lượng người lên xe là đông điện như thế là sẽ gặp nguy hiểm nhưng mà các những người đại vận tham lam gọi là muộn lợi được tiền nhiều và tham lam là nhồi nhét là số lượng người quá lớn. Justice Sweeney today said the 39 victims whose bodies were found in that trailer on this industrial park would have died slow, excruciatingly painful deaths. Before sentencing, he'd listened to the desperate messages they'd left on their phones for the families they'd never see again. Messages considered too upsetting for the jury. The families in Vietnam, he said, were in the court's thoughts today. Paul Davis, News at 10, Essex.